OEG staff are back swinging hammers at Carter Place, a Habitat for Humanity project. Last summer, the Edmonton Oilers Community Foundation donated $250,000 towards this project, and this year, we're back. This time, putting up drywall. Hopefully it stays up, you know, <laughs> that's going to be a key, but you know what, uh, they have great uh, hired leads here that uh, help us through all of that, so even the people with two right hands like myself will be able to get something done. You don't have to travel to South America or Mexico or, or Africa to do this kind of work. We can do it right here in our own backyard. The Oilers contributed over 1,700 hours of volunteer time uh, during the Carter work build and uh, over the period of time that you've been associated with this site. So we are absolutely thrilled by the partnership and very grateful. Not much of a handyman. I don't, uh, uh, I'm not a real builder around the house. So uh, this is something new for me, but it's, uh, it's been a great experience. Being with everyone again and coming back and especially seeing what we've done kind of more finished is kind of unique and exciting. Aside from coming out to support Habitat for Humanity, that was one of the main reasons that we chose to do this as a big team builder for the summer. I love my house. Today when we saw the family that had received um, you know, their unit uh, last December and see the smiles on their faces as uh, Brenda Netter had pointed out, um, you know, that's what really, you know, brings me back and I'm sure brings everybody back. We, uh, we already have 20 families in and we have 38 uh, homes in development, so uh, we're looking at completing by mid next year. These homes that OEG staff are working on are projected to be complete with families moving in by Christmas time. For Oilers TV, I'm Jessica Kent.